The Detroit City Council president is with us tonight to talk about our top story. A judge dismissed the city's lawsuit against the state of Michigan. Detroit's Corporation Council challenged the consent agreement with the state, but the state threatened to withhold revenue sharing money unless the city dropped the suit. So the mayor fought hard to do just that. But the judge made the decision to drop the case, saying the city's lawyer cannot file a suit without the mayor's permission. And City Council President Charles Pugh is here now. Good evening to you. Thank you for taking the time to join us tonight. Good evening. Your first, your overall reaction to the judge's decision today. You know, I'm glad we're going to move forward. I mean, I supported Crystal Crittenden's um, decision to do what she felt the charter empowered her to do. And I think she's right. She had every right to act independently outside of the mayor and our body. Um, but sh what she was asking for was for a judge to do what he did, to make a determination on whether, and actually, they th threw the case out instead of answering her question, is the consent agreement valid? So we're going to move forward. Tomorrow we're going to appoint our two members to the Financial Advisory Board. We're going to confirm the joint um, appointment from the mayor and governor and we're going to move forward because throughout this whole thing all we wanted was the the fiscal stability of the city of Detroit absolutely period. and you sound quite positive now but yesterday you were quite angry and shocked quite a few people and yeah. angered others by pointing the yeah. finger of blame at the governor and the state for right. Detroit possibly going broke well yeah because we agreed that the city of Detroit would do the short-term borrowing and set aside money in escrow for us to be able to make these debt service payments. And then later we would float some bonds to pay that back and have, you know, some reserve sitting for cash flow. Well, the fact that the state was going to hold that up and possibly allow us to not be able to pay our police officers and firefighters because they were upset with the court action that was simply asking, was the agreement valid? I, I just think that was unfortunate. They would, they, they would even threaten to do it, but let alone get this far along you know, I don't know if they were calling our bluff or what was happening, but the bottom line is that, you know, that's over. But I just don't like the way they dealt with that. I think it could have been handled a lot differently. You know, getting back to today's ruling, I said this to Bill Proctor earlier. The judge said today, it was such an obvious issue. I saw it from the moment it was filed. Right. Someone say, then how did the council, how did you, how did the rest of the council not see that this was going to be the decision and support her in that effort when it caused so much divisiveness and such right. fright for people in the city right. of Detroit and all of that? I'm going to be honest with you. I think the judge is wrong. I think that the part of the charter that the judge cited was about was not about charter violations because the the part of the charter that talks about if the corporation council sees a charter violation he or she can move forward independently and resolve that even with court action so you know although at this point I'm glad we're going to move forward but I still don't think to the letter of our charter that the judge was right. I think that the Corporation Council had very solid ground on which to stand to move forward with the court action. But not worth appealing it because of everything it could cause. I think the appeal would have to be approved by the mayor. So, so talk so about... That's probably not going to happen. Yeah. So talk about some of the division, though. Did you hear Detroiters yesterday? They seemed so um, outraged yeah. over what's going on. They're yeah. worried about the city's finances no. right now. We no, all I'm are. They don't, we, no, don't be worried. <laughs> Why? I mean, what do you, what do you say to your constituents? How is Detroit going to move forward at this we point? We have it under control. We negotiated that consent agreement with, uh, with our partner, the state. Uh, so that we can get the city back on fiscal foot, better fiscal footing. I felt that we could have done this all along with a deficit elimination plan without getting into a consent agreement, but we're here now. And so we negotiated that plan as a way to, to pay down our accumulated deficit, to bring our costs in line with our, our to bring our uh, spending in line with our revenues. Um, and to fix the, the city financially and also fix infrastructure, our, our financial infrastructure in the city, our payroll system and, and other things, our accounting systems, so that uh, we are up to date, we use technology, we make things more efficient, we d deliver city services better. That was 
our goal and still is our goal. So that hasn't changed. There you, was just you sound a, so a calm today. I mean, when will Detroit really be out of the woods? Uh, well, to be quite honest with you, it's going to take us a few years to pay down this accumulated deficit. Uh, but I think that, you know, the reforms that we need in order to get back solidly on financial footing, good financial footing, are just, you know, months away. I just, you know, we're, we're going to have the first meeting of the uh, Financial Advisory Board on Friday. We're going to seat our, our first our two members tomorrow, uh, and then confirm the joint appointment tomorrow as well. Um, but I, you know, I think you know if people looked at this back and forth between the mayor, the council, and the state, don't use that as a guide of what things really are. The big picture. We I, we still need to look at the big picture that we're moving forward. The mayor did not veto our budget this year. That's the, first, the the last two budgets. There was a huge, nasty fight back and forth between the mayor and council over what the budget should be. This year, it's different. So there is a lot more agreement than it appears because this we're going to run out of money in this showdown. It looks bad, but the reality is that you know we are cooperating. We're moving forward. Well, and it's a tough sell for some people seeing I everything know. that they have seen, and I, I think you're aware of that in okay. years of mismanagement. But we are hopeful that the city will get there, as you say you we're will. Getting so there. we we hope so. Trust me. Trust city me. Con <laughs> trust you. Famous last <laughs> words way of politicians, <laughs> but we will uh, give it our best. City Council President Charles Pugh, thank you yes, for being with us tonight. So we appreciate much. your time.